What is your storyboarding process for this? It's, it's fundamental, it's super important. It's like a, a, one of the fundamental moment of the, the film process for me because it's like, a, it's a new way of writing. I, I, I co-wrote the screenplay with uh, John Spade. Mm -hmm. John and I came with the words. And then I take the, the, the screenplay and, and I, it's like a way to reapproach uh, the reality of the screenplay and to create the, the most of the costumes, a lot of props are created in, the, in that process and, and of course the all the cinematic language of the movie and it's a way to dream without any time pressure to just do it. It's like the, the, it's just the perfect moment where it's the last step of where the dreams can still exist and, and there's something I work with a very specific artist uh, uh, that has, uh, is like uh, an extension of my brain. Uh, Sam and I are working for many, many years and uh, it touched me because I came to cinema through drawing when I was a, a teenager. We didn't have any camera and me and my best friend were, were uh, drawing storyboards together about the movie we would like to make and uh, not having cameras, it was more drawings. So the idea of, of uh, trying to express yourself, the, to, to develop the cinematic language really came from being with a friend and, and sharing ideas and seeing them coming to life on the paper and accepting that I'm very bad at drawing, so I need someone else. And, 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 and uh, um, it's part of a, my f a very fundamental moment in the process, yeah, storyboarding. The design and the dress is, is, is quite extraordinary. Yeah, Jacqueline did a fantastic work. I remember when I was doing storyboards, I asked my storyboard artist for the Reverend Mother, it was just a Sharpie, of, a black Sharpie line. <laughs> <laughs> that was a reverend mother every time in the storyboards. <laughs> and and uh, that was by reference for, for Jacqueline. <laughs> when you work on a film, what are the first things that comes to your process? Uh, because you, you write, uh, you, you write also, you adapt. But do you think more about sounds and the design of the sound or more about... Uh, the script or more about the visual aspect? Why, how do you construct your universe when you first have an idea about a film? That's, that's a tough one. We're going to be here for six hours. No, 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 no but uh, it's, it's um, first of all, I, uh, I absolutely, I, I came to movies through the words. I love writing. I don't consider myself necessarily a good screenwriter, but I love writing. I love, I love, and, and it's like, uh, and uh, I love also to, de I developed through the years more the idea of collaborating to, to work with other screenwriters. And uh, uh, I love sharing creativity. And uh, uh, so the, I, well, let's say that to adapt these, these movies, the, the screenwriting process is quite long because it, it, the, the books are pretty dense and, um, but once the, the screenplay is, uh, is uh, done, the, um, I will say what is maybe m more specific to my approach is, is the storyboards, where I will uh, draw alone with uh, my storyboard artist the whole movie, where I, that helped me tremendously to uh, um, dig into, to, to, to um, sculpt the movie, to, to find the, vocab the cinematic vocabulary that, uh, to apply that vocabulary to, to the old structure and to um, create props, costumes, uh, uh, vehicles, uh, uh, not thinking that I will necessarily come with the final idea, but at least that I will find ideas to feed my crew later and, and uh, there's a lot of uh, things that are the ideas that are coming out of this, and more importantly, idea of mise en scène, where I will uh, very often find uh, the proper way to shoot, and uh, going through the words to the image. There will uh, uh, there's always a, a certain amount of serious transformation that goes into that process, where I will go from the storyboards and rewrite the screenplay after from the storyboards. Um, that's because, because I feel because the sharpie is not good enough. <laughs> yeah, exactly, <laughs> but but it, it really uh, helped me and for me to um, the, that's where I feel the really the movie is born, and uh, as I say to my crew, um, the the storyboard supersedes the the screenplay, and then nature supersedes the storyboard. Meaning that when we go on set, if something happened with the actors or with the light or with the natural event that feels absolutely inspiring. I will just throw the storyboards uh, uh, above my shoulder and, and uh, improvise. Yeah. 
a lot of uh, things are coming out of the storyboard process as well, where I have to translate a scene and to find the most economic and, and the most expressive, expressive way to, to, to bring ideas to the screen, where it's almost like an extension of my brain where I can, uh, 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 in a very intimate moment, dream. Uh, that's where a lot of ideas are coming from, visual ideas are coming from. Are, are you a good drawer? Are you? No, not particularly. And I, <laughs> I don't actually storyboard that much. I've done certain sequences. I mean, it's fascinating to hear that you, so you, creatively you started with storyboarding before you ever got a camera. Yeah, yeah. And the thing is that I feel still today, once the, the, the screenplay is done, I will storyboard most the, of the movie, of, if not the entire movie, and it's a new way to rewrite and to approach, bring the words closer to the to the camera. And I then, once the storyboard I finish, I rewrite the screenplay again, again from the storyboards because there's a lot of changes that will be found through the storyboards. Uh, and uh, it's a way also to, for me to find the alphabet and the vocabulary that would be used, the cinematic uh, alphabet of the film, the rhythm, everything is in the boards. And is that before you have the whole team on? Or? Absolutely, absolutely. Right. I do it by myself. And it's a way to dream about the movie in the most intimate way. It's one of my favorite moments of the film process. Yeah. Now, I, there's a, a rule on, on my set is that uh, uh, the, the storyboard precedes the, the, the screenplay and nature precedes the storyboard. So which means that most of the time I throw the storyboard out and then we, <laughs> we improvise with the camera. But, uh, but it, it secures me to find the movie with the boards. I think it's almost a, a, a different way to right to go deeper into the screenwriting process more specifically for the cinematic sequences yeah yeah, yeah.